I'm now going to look at my sidebar background colors. And uh, if I go back to my palette, I can see that I've got this nice salmon one. I'll try that again, I think. So if I make, I'll start with using the salmon as the background color on the sidebars. So I'm going to copy that. Then I'll go to my website. I'm going to close this. I find it much easier always to work with the template. It's always quite straightforward. If I'm using the template, I know that I'm going to be changing the entire site when I update things. So I'm going to look at the style sheet in the CS Designer. And somewhere down here, I've probably got sidebar one. Or I think it's, if I select here, I can see that it's actually the aside that I need to look at, not the sidebar. So in my uh, haste, when I was making an audit, I should have called this the aside. So let's look and see if we've got a definition for the aside. And if there isn't, we'll make one. Um, no, there doesn't appear. Oh, main aside. Actually, maybe it's in here. So I'm looking in the style sheet, main aside. I'm going to change the background. I've got this unclick so that I can add color effects. And I'm just going to cut and paste that in there. Now I can see I've accidentally, I've had the cursor in the wrong place. So I'm going to undo that. Ah, see now I'm not clicking on this correctly and it's frozen up. I'm just going to press the escape bar a couple of times in the hope that it will free up. It's not at the moment. This is a problem that can occur. These are a number of different files we're using at the same time. Uh, so it's worth being patient. Remember, when everything locks up, you either use the escape button, which is top left on your keyboard, or you use Control Z to undo something if you've done something terrible. Failing that, if you've got an, a an asterisk showing that it means you've made changes that are awful, you can simply close it without saving the changes. In this case, I've frozen the whole thing. So I'm just going to shut down the program and restart because it may be that I've just been working on this file for too long, perhaps I've used up the RAM. Um, if I restart the computer, I'll free up some time and uh, some RAM for working.